Always remember Hussein to practice that I want to support my Imam. But there is one problem. Most of the Muslims, when you ask him or her, what is your opinion about Imam Mahdi? They answer, Inshallah, he will come and he will fill the world with justice. And then that time we will enjoy. We will have a good life. We will uh, worship Allah in the best way. Okay, what about you? What is your duty? Me, nothing. I'm waiting for him to come. This is what the Quran says about Bani Israel. Qalu ya Musa. Allah said, and Musa السلام, told them, let's go and fight. Let's go and make the city ready to worship Allah. They answered, Qalu ya Musa, inna lan nadkhulaha abada ma damu fiha. Fathab anta wa rabbuka, rabbuka faqatila inna hauna qa'idun. Qa'id. You and your Lord, you go and fight. When you free the city, when you free the world, when we, then we come. Now we are sitting. We want to sit, we, we will pray, but we have our life. We can't go and fight. We are not mujahid, we are qa'id. I hope I, and I wish one day you can learn Arabic. Again, the same word, qa'id. Not, we are not believers. They are believers. They are followers of Musa. But they are qa'id. They can't go and fight. Musa, you and your Lord. O oh Allah, you and Mahdi, go and fight and did everything. Then you will come. Then what, what Musa said? Change Musa with Mahdi. He said, Qala Rabbi, inni la amliku illa nafsi wa akhi. Fafrug baynana wa bayn al-qawm al-fasiqin. Musa alayhi salam said, or we can say Mahdi alayhi salam now said, My Lord, indeed I don't possess or control except myself and my brother. So part us from these disobedient people. These are fasiq. Bayna al-qawm al At the same time, they are believers. But at the same time, they are fasiq. They are disobedient people. Because they are qa'id. So, this is the lesson of Imam Hussein, and this is the lesson of Karbala that we should practice, we should ask ourselves. But unfortunately, because of dunya, we don't have time to think, we don't have time to ask ourselves. Most of the Muslims, they are among Qa'idin. They want to have dunya and akhirah together. But dunya and akhirah, they are enemies. It's impossible. The Prophet said, it is impossible. You can't at the same time say, I want dunya and I want akhirah. It's impossible. You should choose. You want dunya or akhirah. To have money, to have house, to have car. This is not dunya. But to, ju to do just for the sake of money, just for the sake of position, this is dunya. Never think, I want to do my best for religion of Allah. I want to send my child to support the religion of Allah. The Quran says about Maryam, about mother of Maryam. I told you several times. Why Maryam is Maryam? Or Mary is Mary because of her mother. Because when she was pregnant of Mary, she prayed and said, Oh Allah, I want my child that she thought it is a boy. I want my son, my child to be your soldier. I want him to be your soldier. Before her birth, these are mujahideen. This is the method of mujahid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنَّ بِوَاحِدَةِ I have just one advice for you. One advice. What is it? أَن تَقُومُ لِلَّهِ This is the advice of Allah. أَن تَقُومُ لِلَّهِ Stand up. Don't sit. Stand up for the sake of Allah. Sit means I have, alhamdulillah, I have a good life, good job, car, house. I pray, I go to masjid, I uh, give lecture. This is means sitting. This is not difficult. For me to make a lecture and come here and give a lecture, it's not difficult. To pray is not difficult. There is no danger. To fast, there is no danger. To go hajj, it's not difficult. So I am sitting. But when you stand, there is danger. So always Mujahideen, they are in danger.
Because of this, to, to Mujahideen, they, Allah said you should be patient. 